This qualifying recap brought to you by Philips Connect, technology that moves us forward. It's your fifth number one of the year, but as you, as you just mentioned, it's, it's the wins that matter. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we'll trade a win, trade a blue hat for a yellow hat any day. Um, you know, actually, that, that last run was kind of anticlimactic. We, we went up there trying to run better than the 85 because we honestly figured there was about four cars that could bump us. And, you know, with only a 15-car ladder, uh, it's, it's a big bonus, you know, to get another shot at the racetrack without somebody in the other lane. So um, wore the clutch completely out, and it ran 90. And I'm still amazed that it, that it stuck. But uh, we'll take it. Uh, you know, that, that run last night, uh, really proud of the guys. But uh, tomorrow is a new day. Um, I wish we could have went down the track Q2. We were pushing a little too hard, trying to get more of those bonus points. And, uh, but I guess you can look at it another way, too, is we found the edge. So tomorrow we know not to do that. We're going to back it off a little from that. And like I said, we have a, a practice run at it. So exciting. Um, love being here in St. Louis. There's nothing better than seeing the, the crowd, you know, like, and the stands full. I've always said this, and I don't say this when I go to every racetrack, I promise, but the best sports fans, period, in the United States are right here in St. Louis. You go to a Cardinals game, and they're just, they're the best, okay? And they get into it. They even uh, applaud the other team when they make a great play. Not any better fans in the world than right here in St. Louis. So we're going to put a great show on for them tomorrow. Joined in the media center by your top fuel number one qualifier, Steve Torrance. Steve's run last night of 3.655 at 327.53 miles per hour put him at the number one spot. Steve, this is your third number one qualifier of the season. Um, you were actually um, low qualifier, low, you were low of two of the three sessions today uh, over the course of the weekend. I know that the weather looks similar um, tomorrow and it has this weekend, so does the how you did today help you out for tomorrow? Yeah, without a doubt, I think it has a lot of uh, a lot of, of credit for what we're trying to do tomorrow, and um, will be good to tune off of. Uh, we have a 10:30 start in the morning, so the track will be very good. The track was better than we had anticipated on this run right here. We missed it a little bit. It, it was we could have run better than last night on that run right there and missed it. And I think some of the other cars were aggressive, and we were just a little bit lax. So. Um, Looking forward to going into the race day tomorrow. We got good momentum. The car's running well, and we'll be excited to see what we can do. Six point five one zero times two. Are you kidding me? Kyle Koretsky is going to get number one by speed over Greg Anderson. So 6.510 is qualified number one. 6.511 is qualified number four. Um, you, you know, we're in the countdown. So now's the time to uh, you know, get all your stuff uh, ducks in a row and make every single run as clean as possible. I think that's what the KV car did here uh, this weekend. Last run, we kind of swung for the fence and a little driver uh, hiccup there. But we'll be good for uh, eliminations tomorrow, Sunday. I think we have a buyer on sets so nice takes a little pressure get one win light but uh yeah we'll keep going we were joined in the media center by your pro stock motorcycle number one qualifier matt smith matt's time yesterday of 6.709 at 202.82 miles per hour held up for the number one spot here in st louis um matt with your bike running as it is um and you ran really well this weekend how does that help your confidence for tomorrow um, it's good. I mean, I think we have uh, the best bike out here. Um, we kind of missed the tune-up a little bit, second round, spun the tire too much through low gear, just tried to get after it a little bit, and uh, it didn't hold it. But we were still second of the round, and we come back this time and detuned it in low gear and was lower the round again. So uh, all in all, this Denso bike, is uh, it, it's fast, it's mean, and if I can just do my job on Sunday, we should be able to turn four wind lights on. Uh, we turn the wind light on every time we went down the track in qualifying. So. That's the goal. That's that's our goal tomorrow. Um, you and Angie both ended up one and two. Um, does it does it help you to have her bike to learn off of as well? Uh, Angie ended up four, um, but no, uh, it's all good. I mean, you know, hopefully we can turn two wind lights on, and she can turn two wind lights on, and we got to meet each other in the semis, and uh, and then one of us go on, you know. But uh, 
All in all, tomorrow is a big day. Uh, I've always said the first race of Count Nine is important, but the second race is probably the most important um, because that kind of shows who's going to be able to run for the championship when we go to Dallas. And, uh, you know, it's going to show because uh, Joey and Karen's got each other tomorrow, so that's two countdown contenders. And um, as long as my bike cranks up and I can take the tree, I'm going to win first round. So uh, uh, all in all, I think we'll be fine, and, and hopefully we can uh, – just do our job no more. That's all I got to do. Uh, just no parts failures and just do our job. With that 572. Daniel Ferris currently sits number three. Stan Shelton currently sits number four. The 574. Final two pairs. Fuel Tech Pro Mod presented by D-Wagon. This weekend, Jerry Bickle race cars. And then, we get ready to go real fast. Camping World Series. Shelton left, Ferris right. Well, Stan Shelton has to get out of it. Big move early on. Daniel Ferris clean, 567, 251 miles per hour. Look at the Q80 team on the starting line. Think they're happy with that? Daniel Ferris just puts a lap on the field. People that discount this Capco team are making a grave mistake. Three point six five five, three hundred twenty-seven miles an hour, and Steve Torrance goes to the top. Doug Coletta goes three point six eight four at three hundred twenty-four miles an hour. The class has really stepped up, and everybody's so quick and so fast right now. And we needed to run well. Uh, we've struggled throughout the year, uh, kind of self-inflicted. But at this time, we're we're trying to get our way back in there, and we've we've kind of put ourselves behind the eight ball with two non-spectacular starts to the countdown and so we needed to run well and that was great for us to come here i don't know if that'll stay number one depends on the conditions tomorrow but i, I feel like it will be top three at least so um just a great run for us i mean we we slowly got to where we need to be and if we can maintain that pace right there and can and carry it through the rest of the four races we'll maybe have a shot at this deal Ron cap one in charlotte Final two, funny cars, top fuel is at the ready line. Three point eight five three, three hundred thirty-six point three two miles an hour for Robert Height. And at three point eight five three seconds, Robert Height goes to the top. Well, it, it's it's huge. I mean, uh, number one, there's only 15 cars this weekend, so the, the number one spot is very, very important. And, you know, we're counting points. Uh, we, we amassed a pretty decent lead leaving Reading, and we gave, gave it back last weekend, let some of these guys back in. And it was a mechanical failure, uh, blew out a spark plug, and uh, ended our day. So we worked hard at the shop this week and tried to identify things that could be potential problems and, you know, come out here and make a run like that. Um, you know, 336 miles an hour, that's the fastest I've gone in a long time. I know it's the fastest run of the year for funny cars, so that's pretty impressive, but we do have great conditions. Dallas on the left side, Kyle Koretsky in the right. We're getting down to it. Well, the reaction war goes to Dallas. 6.512, 211 miles an hour, Kyle Koretsky. I knew the team's been working on the engines real hard. I've uh, been struggling a little bit as a team with the engines, but Greg and Jeff and all the guys back at the shop at KB have been really uh, busting their butt to uh, make sure that all these cars are fast. Uh, I think we're all kind of in a little bit of a slump somewhat as a team, but to go out there and, and go low for Friday night is pretty cool. Uh, you know, just to qualify is real cool, but to be number one for Friday nights, uh, it's nice. It takes a little bit of pressure off you, and now you can kind of, I can kind of relax a little bit and try to do my job on uh, 
hitting a tree. So when we went into the countdown to the championship and asked him point blank, who do you believe is your biggest threat? He said, Joey Gladstone, period. End of sentence. Well, he's right. Yes, he is. Six point seven oh nine two hundred two point eight two miles an hour, and Matt Smith goes to the top. Uh, it was great. You know, the last time we've been here was uh, I think 2019. We came in 2020, but we didn't really get to run because it was so cold and all that. So we finished the race at Dallas. But uh, you know, I held a speed record then, and uh, you know, the motorcycles have evolved a lot in the last three years as far as ET and speed. So. Uh, it's good to be back here. It's fast track, good track, and uh, excited for what happens tomorrow. So how will you prepare for tomorrow's race? I'll uh, go off our data that we had this evening. Um, we could have hit it harder. Uh, we was too conservative. The track was way better than what we thought. So uh, if we have the same weather as tomorrow, the sun will be on a little bit. But we're definitely going to go and uh, swing for a 60 because I've never been to the Right side. Didn't we see this earlier? When uh, yeah, I'm sure we did. As a matter of fact, let's see if Justin Bond can maybe extract a little revenge for missing that wind light a week ago. Zmax Dragway, Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, two nice clean runs down the center of the groove. Here is Jackson, 569, 257. Wow. Solid run. Steve Jackson takes his Bahrain 1 Camaro to the...